Hi guys, today I wanted to show you how to create this really simple festive stroke New Year's Eve kind of traditional look of golden eyes and a bold bright red lip and I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Kali Bible Palette. I hope you like it. To start off with I'm going to be priming my skin using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer and this is the smoothing primer. And as always I like to kind of concentrate the primer down and along my T-zone which is mainly where I kind of get oily and where my pores are kind of the most prominent. And for my base today I'm going to be using one that I haven't used for a while and it's the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and I'm using the shade W3. Moving on to my brows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and this is in the shade Medium Brown. Start off by just combing through my brows and then I just start going in and kind of shaping and filling in the sparse areas. brows in place I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. Right, to prime my eyes I'm just going to use any concealer and the one I have to have with me is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I'm just going to add just a tiny little blob on each of my eyelids and just blend it in with my ring finger. For today's eye look, I think I'm going to play around with the Kali Bible palette from BH Cosmetics. It's a 14 pan eyeshadow and highlighter palette. So I thought it'd be nice to just kind of show you them in action. So to start off with, I am going to use this kind of matte, light, creamy beige shade all over the eyelid. The first shade I'm going to go in with is this really beautiful kind of rosy golden metallic shade and I'm going to apply that on the mobile part of the lid, mainly staying on the kind of inner two thirds because I'm going to go in with a darker shade on the outer third of the lid. Then for the outer part of the lid I am going to go in with this more deeper kind of metallic bronze shade. And this is just going to add that element of smokiness on the outer corners. I'm going to switch my brush over and use a bit more of a fluffy brush. And to bridge those two colours together, I think I'm going to go in with this beautiful kind of coppery bronze shade. Just so there's a bit more of a seamless transition between the two colours. And then to blend out that top edge of that eyeshadow, which is kind of sitting harshly in the crease right now, I'm going to go in with this kind of mauve tan shade, which um, will work nice as a transitional shade. Just taking a little bit of product and literally using it to blend out that colour that we've got sitting kind of in the crease. And taking a clean fluffy blending brush, go in and just buff out that top edge of that transition shade just so it blends in nicely with that all over the lid shade that we put down first and it gives more of a really nice gradient effect on the lid. And sometimes you kind of lose the intensity of the eyeshadows when you've been blending quite a bit so I like to go back in and kind of re-intensify any areas that you want to add that bit more kind of depth and definition to. So I'm going to go in with a little bit more of that deep bronze metallic shade on the outer third of the eye just to bring back that smoke and drama. And you might need to do this a few times just to get it to where you really want it to be. So it does take a lot of patience. Then go back and blend out that colour in the crease. I think I want to further intensify the kind of outer V. So I'm going to go in with the kind of really cool dark matte brown shade in the palette. And then just literally apply that 
on the corner of the lash line and dragging it kind of into the outer crease in that V shape and then blend that out with the transition shade. Then I'm going to give my lashes a little bit of a curl, not too much because we're going to go in with falsies. But I always feel like my lashes need a little bit of a boost because they're just so dead straight. I think I definitely feel like we need to do a bit of a wing liner today. So I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. Then for mascara, I am going to go in with the Heroin Make Volume and Curl Mascara. Right, moving on to concealing the under eyes and I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer and this is in the shade Creamy Beige. I'm also going to use a bit of Max Prep and Prime Highlighter in the shade Light Boost just to really lift and highlight under eye area and then using the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge I think it's called just gonna start to blend that all in just taking the excess in the middle of my kind of forehead just to highlight that area as well the LA Girl Pro Conceal does have a peachiness to it, so that will really counteract any kind of blueness in the under eye circles. And to set that in place, I'm going to be using a bit of the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Then to conceal the rest of the face, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and this is in the shade 20. I'm just going to take that mainly around my nose because it's really kind of struggling with the redness at the moment. Just a little bit around here on the chin and blend that in with this sponge. Then using the same setting powder I'm just gonna set that in place too. Just gonna take that across the cheeks as well just so that the bronzer and contour goes on nice and smooth. I'm going to go back and finish the eyes before I start doing the rest of the face. And basically going to mimic what I've done on the top lids onto the bottom lash lines. On the inner half of the bottom lash line, I'm going to go in with that kind of rosy golden shade. On the inner corner, about halfway. And then the centre part, I'm going to go in with that kind of nice coppery shade. And then on the outer most part of the bottom lash line, I'm going to go in with that deep metallic bronze shade. Then I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to take that matte dark brown shade and just take that more closely along the outer corner of the bottom lash line just to really smoke out that corner. I'm gonna take the Makeup Geek uh, Duochrome Eyeshadow in the shade Steampunk. It's a metallic brown, but there's a lot of black in there as well, so I'm hoping that it's gonna be quite dark rather than going in with a matte black. Yeah, I think that's definitely dark enough. And I'm just going to run that very, very tightly along the bottom lash line. Only about a third of the way in. On second thoughts, I think I am going to go in with a matte black. Just on the very outer corner. And I'm just joining that up with the, uh, the liner. 
Then for mascara on the bottom lash line, I'm going to go in with Max Extended Play Giga Black Lash. Right, then I'm going to go in with some fake lashes, and these are just a pair of mink ones. Then to brighten up the inner corner highlights, I'm going to go in with this beautiful kind of pearlescent seashell metallic pink shade. Add that to the inner corners. And I think I'm going to add a little bit under the brow bone as well, just to really lift that area. Okay, then moving on to contouring the face, I'm going to be using the Smashbox contour palette and I'm going to be using this kind of grey tone brown. Just taking that in the hollows of the cheek. And any excess product, I like to take kind of up the temples and along the jawline. I'm going to take a little bit of that contour powder down the length of my nose just to make it appear a little bit slimmer. I'm going to take in a fluffy blending brush, I'm just going to buff off any excess. To bronze up my skin, I'm going to go back to an oldie but a goodie, and it's none other than Nars Guna, which has um, seen better days. Then to add a hint of warmth to the cheeks, I am going to go in with the Milani Berry and More Baked Powder Blush and this is a beautiful kind of deep kind of berry, coral, metallic golden goodness. It's the best way I can describe it. And then for my highlight I am going to go in and of course use, um, I think I actually might mix two. I'm going to mix the two lightest um, highlight shades from the Kylie Bible palette. Wow, that is some serious sheen going on there. And then for my lips, I think I want to go in with something really nice and deep and very appropriate for this time of year. I think I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Intense in the shade 46, which is a kind of deep, very red shade. But first up, I'm going to line my lips with the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Pencil, and this is in the shade 10C. Actually, I'm going to fill it in lip. This will just make the whole thing last a lot longer. Then to set that all in place, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set. And this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me create this tutorial of golden eyes and a bold bright red lip using the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Palette. Please give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!